Hi, I'm Julie Antwistle and you're watching OTV, where we're going to provide you with solutions for living. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the number one cause of brain injury, spinal cord injury and disability in seniors, falls. As we age, our risk of falling increases as our vision, balance and physical abilities can decline. Falls cost the Canadian healthcare system an estimated $2 billion annually, as these often result in doctor visits, lengthy hospitalization, surgery, long-term care placement, and even death. But the good news is that many falls are preventable, and in this episode of OTV, we're going to explain how. We know that the most likely place to fall in the home is around the toilet and shower. And in a previous episode of OTV, we discussed bathroom safety and the changes that can be made to these areas to reduce the risk. However, there are many other aspects to safety at home that can also help. Flooring. Transitions between floors that are carpet, wood, or tile, even if small, can catch a toe or the wheels of a walker. Scatter rugs, while nice on the feet, are a significant tripping hazard for seniors, especially if these are thick or lack a rubber backing. It's best to just remove these. Walkways. Excessive amounts of furniture, boxes, personal belongings, even pets can obstruct a walking path and can increase the risks of a fall. So can wires that are across doorways or paths. As we age, it is more important that we declutter, remove anything across our path, and make sure our belongings are safely stored. Consider running wires under the flooring or over the doorways. Spills. On floors other than carpet, it's important to wipe up spills or remove water from the floor right away as this can be both slippery and hard to see. This is true in bathrooms, kitchens and back halls, but also applies to areas where pets may have had accidents or in garages where there is water coming off of a car. Lighting. Well-lit hallways and staircases are essential at all times, but especially at night. Use night lamps or sensor lights to light important pathways and rooms after dark. Railings. These are very helpful on stairways, but can also be used in hallways to give a senior something to grasp while walking, and are even more essential for entrances in and out of the home. Footwear. Bare feet in the home can lead to slipping on wet surfaces, and socks can be slippery on wood, floor, or tile. Slippers that are not secured around the foot are not recommended, as these can slide off when walking. Look at wearing properly supportive slippers with a rubber tread, or even indoor shoes. Accessing items. Keeping regularly accessed items at arm's reach can help to reduce excessive reaching or bending that can cause someone to get off balance. Step stools can be unsafe and if they are to be used should be sturdy and have a handle. Safety buttons. For seniors that live alone or who spend considerable time alone during the day or at night, a home monitoring system is recommended. Some of these even have motion sensors that alert for help if you fall even if you can't press the button. Therapy. Lastly, never assume that therapy won't help. Often, improving or at least maintaining strength, flexibility and balance are helpful for people of all ages and, if a fall does happen, can help you to recover more quickly. Well, that's this episode of OTV. Stay safe and remember, OT's no stuff.